Hey, Jocelyn with Walter's World, and today I'm just gonna cook a few things because it is Greek Easter, so I'm making some of my favorite things. I'm making leg of lamb, and I'm making Greek-style potatoes, and I'm also making a Brazilian dessert called mousse de maracujá. Um, I know, that doesn't really go, right? Uh, Brazilian stuff with Greek stuff, but whatever. I love Brazilian desserts, and this one is my absolute favorite. I love maracujá in all of its forms, but mousse de maracujá is my favorite. Maracujá is passion fruit, um, and so I'm making passion fruit mousse. And this is how I get my passion fruit in these little bags. Um, you can you can sit and cut open a whole bunch of passion fruits and pick out all the seeds and deal with all that mess, but let me tell you, it's not worth your time when you can just buy it for three bucks like this. Um, so this is this part of why I love Brazilian desserts is that they're they're so simple. At least many of them are. Um, and this one only has three ingredients and it takes like 10 minutes, maybe. Um, so it, they're sweetened condensed milk and it's just one can, it's a 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk and one can of table cream, uh, maybe a crema is what it is. It, you can get this in like any, any grocery store that has like an international food aisle it's usually pretty easy to find. So I just shake this up a little bit um, and pop it open and pour it in. It's, this is like, I'm telling y'all, this is like the easiest food ever. Um, I scrape it out really well because all the really good fatty bits tend to hang out in the can and they get stuck. So if you can just scrape that out really well into your blender, that's it. There's there's no other there's no other accoutrement. I love that. You need a can opener and a blender. Like that just makes my life happy when I don't have to deal with a whole bunch of other stuff. I first came upon this in when we were living in Portugal, but then when we started going to Brazil a lot to visit Mark's um, Brazilian mom and dad, I. I ate it all the time. I just like, I was obsessed with it. And one year we were there right around my birthday and his Brazilian mom made me mousse de maracujá cake. And it was honestly the most glorious cake I've ever had in my life. I wish I had, had that for my wedding. Okay, so that's it. You put those two things into your blender and then you don't even need a measuring cup. You just reuse this can and put some of this in there. So this is 14 ounces, this is 14 ounces. You know what? I'm not using that can, I'm silly. Use the smaller can. This, it's like um, this table cream comes at about seven and a half, eight ounces. So this is the hardest part of the entire process is pouring liquid from a bag into a can. Cause often I splash that all over the place and make a mess. So that's about the right amount. And you can use more or less, just all depends on your preference. Um, I'm gonna wipe that off. I just don't want to get a bunch of sweetened condensed milk and table cream into the into the motor of my blender. So here we go. Let's stick this on here. Blend. So I often like just go back and scrape down the sides and make sure that I've got everything well blended. Oh my gosh, I want to eat this with a spoon already. It's so tasty. My mouth's kind of watering right now. So that's it. What is that? 30 seconds worth of blending maybe. And we're gonna pour it into a bowl and we're gonna put it in the fridge for about four hours or so. And when it comes out, it'll be perfect and delectable. And what I love most about this is that passion fruit isn't really sweet. Um, it's kind of tangy, but then when you pair it with um, the sweetened condensed milk that is overly sweet, it just comes out really perfect. So it's not overwhelmingly sugary, nor is it overwhelmingly tart. It's just perfect combination of the two. All right, so I'm just scraping all the goodness off of this because I don't, I don't really like to waste even a drop. That would make me sad. As a matter of fact, I'll find a way to lick the blender, so to speak. All right, and then you'll see it's a really, it's a pretty thick consistency, but it's still runny. Um, most people in Brazil, when they finish making this, they will put some fresh maracujá, um, fresh passion fruit pulp um, with the seeds and everything on top. And it looks really pretty because the seeds are um, black and they give a little bit of crunch and stuff to it. Um, 
but passion fruit is not in season right now. So this is what I've got and this is what I'll do. I may, because I like the crunchy bits on top, I may put some cacao nibs on there just to have the crunch so that it feels like I'm still in Brazil, even though I'm not. So this is Mousse de Maracujá. It took me maybe five minutes, max. Um, I do save this extra little bit. I may refreeze it um, or I will use it. It's really good to make some dressings and things like that. You can think of a thousand different things to do with it. Once you get the flavor of it, it you'll find that it incorporates into a lot of things very easily. So there you go. So this is my Mousse de Maracujá and it should not move when you take it out. It, it kind of moves a little bit. You see how it's kind of sliding in the bowl? But it's kind of sliding all as like one big gelatinous thing, not running. So that's when it's pretty well done. Um, and like I said, I don't have um, fresh passion fruit. So I love the crunchy bits of the seeds on top. And since I don't have any of those, I'm just putting a few cacao nibs on top. I mean, he doesn't like chocolate, right? So I'm gonna just put this back in the fridge for a few minutes while the lamb is finishing and um, the potatoes are heating up and then we'll be ready for Easter. I'm telling you, it's so good that yeah, I'm actually licking the blades of the blender. Ha, ha, ha.